This is Master Theory, Book 1, Lesson 17. We're talking about the repeat sign, first and second endings. The repeat sign consists of two dots here, placed between, before or after a double bar. It indicates that the music enclosed by the signs is to be repeated. So when you have the first line, the order of playing should be, if I number the measure line like this, it should be one, two, and then three, four, five, six, and then three, four, five, six. You'll repeat the middle part. Then sometimes the same sign means to go back to the beginning. So if you don't see any other repeat signs uh, happening in the middle of the piece, that means this repeat sign have to go all the way back to the middle, to the beginning, sorry. So it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're gonna repeat basically playing the music like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, again, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So sometimes the repeat sign, is marked with the first and second ending. So when you do that, the first time you play the first ending, second time you have to skip the first ending and go to the second ending. So if I number the measure, like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like this, the performance order will be one, two, three, four, five, six. First ending, so seven and eight, and there's a repeat here. So we're going back to one, two, three, four, five, six, and then skip to second ending, so it's nine and then 10. Let's do some exercise here. Which measure is play after measure four the first time? So when you see questions like this, I usually write out a sequence of the order of measures that will be play. So I'm writing like one, two, three, four, repeat. One, two, three, four, and then go to five, six, seven, eight, and then repeat again in the end. So it's five, six, seven, eight. So when they ask which measure is played after measure four is played the first time. Measure four is here as the first time. The measure played after will be measure one. Now, second question, which measure is played before measure five the second time? So if you look at this sequence, the second time that measure five is played is right here because this is the first time. This is the second time. So which measure is played before measure five? The second time will be number eight, measure eight. See, it's much easier if you write out the order. Next one. Let's write out the order again of the space clock sign, uh, PPs. So, It'll be one, two, three, four, repeat. And then go back to the beginning, one, two, and skip to the second ending. So it'll be five, six, seven, eight. Question one, which measure is played after measure four? So the answer will be one. Number two, which measure is played before measure five? Measure five's here, so the measure before five will be two. That's the end of lesson 17.